Hello and welcome to Catalyze Music Academy. My name is Zach Chrysler. I'm an Ableton certified trainer. And today I want to do a real quick kind of niche tip that's going to be really useful if you are building some kind of like performance or live, live DJ kind of setup. Uh, and you may have found yourself in this situation if you've ever tried to MIDI map the tempo inside of live, you get lots of decimal points in there, which is not necessarily ideal. So I want to show you how to get just whole number MIDI mapping for tempo inside of live. Before we dive into that, I do want to let you know that I release a new video every single Thursday, as well as streaming on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. So come by, by say hi, and come hang out. So to start off, uh, we're going to go ahead and MIDI map our tempo to my MIDI controller. So I'm just going to click up on the tempo, turn my knob, and you can see it maps it there. Now if I try adjusting my tempo, you can see that it goes way up from 20 BPM up to 100, or 999 BPM, which is way too big of a range. So we're going to restrict our range of tempos to be something more reasonable. Maybe we'll start at like 60 BPM and then uh, go to like 150. So we have like a bit of a smaller range there. So now as I adjust this up and down, we can see that we get tempos in a much more refined range. However, we still get lots of decimal points. Basically, no matter what I do, I'm going to get some decimal points in there. Now, realistically, if I'm DJing and I play something that's supposed to be at 120 BPM and I play it at 120.24 in this case, Nobody's going to nobody's gonna notice. It's going to be fine. However, when I'm on stage, I want things to be exact. I want to have precise control over my tempos. And there's no one button to do this. There's no like setting you have to hit. But there is a kind of sneaky workaround. The way we can do this is if we start our minimum tempo wherever we want, and then we're going to add either 127 or 128 to it. It depends on the MIDI controller. So try out both if the first one doesn't work. So in this case, we start at 60. We're going to add 127, which takes us to 187. And now, if I start moving my tempo up and down, we get whole number automation or modulation mapping here because the resolution of our tempos matches the resolution of MIDI, which is generally 128, but again, some controllers like 127. So now I can move this up and down between my entire range of tempos that I have set here, and now I can be exact with no more decimal points. That's basically it. Real kind of quick, easy tip for this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully that is helpful for you. I know it drew. This drove me nuts before I figured this out. Um, and hopefully this helps you out. And if it does, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.